What's up guys, Skitter Rampage here. So today we're talking Funko News updates. Over in Canada, Muichiro was selling for 10 bucks. How many of these things did Funko make to the point where they're selling for 10 bucks at Toys R Us? Now Funko also dropped their mystery boxes today and they were fairly disappointing. And we do have a couple other updates, so let's check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're having a great day. Now, I do hope you guys enjoyed your Thanksgiving yesterday. Hopefully you got to eat a bunch of food and spend time with your family, as well as we do have the question of the day today, and that is, what are you getting for Black Friday? Is there anything you have your eyes set on or are you kind of skipping this year? I do want to go out and do a Funko Pop hunt for Black Friday because I noticed that my local Walmart started to get in the giant movie moment ones, and I'm still looking for the Home Alone, but if you guys want to see a Black Friday kind of like Funko Bop hunt, I might do one. So drop a comment down below if you'd like to see that. Now, firstly, I do want to talk about some things hitting stores as well as closer looks at a couple Funko products. Now, shared from Las Vegas Funko Holics, we do have a look at the 10 inch She Hulk Target exclusive. This one does appear to be hitting Target stores. So if you are interested in this one, make sure to check your local Target stores. That is a very big pop. Now, we also do have other items hitting Target stores like the Superman Justice League pop, Emperor Palpatine, the Retro Comic series, as well as R2D2. And then we do have of the art series of Black Panther and Miles Morales. I do kind of like the Miles Morales. It's probably the best one out of that art series set. But again, I'm kind of like with most people, a lot of the art series just don't look good. But the comic shading pops that they're doing in the retro style look so much better and I wish they would apply that same detail to the art series. And thank you Disc Trackers for sharing that photo collage. Make sure to check your local targets guys if you're looking for any of these exclusives. Now spotted over on Pop Culture, we do have first looks at the 10 inch Darth Vader. This one's a Funko Shop exclusive and it's part of the light and sound series where you press the button and it lights up and makes a bunch of sounds. And for anybody interested in that Darth Vader, that one is going live on the Funko Shop on the 28th. And lastly, I do wanna show you guys close looks at Meruem here from Hunter Hunter. Now I did actually unbox this one in yesterday's video if you do want to check that out. Chalice did send over their sample pretty early. I forgot to mention in that video though that this one is still set to ship out in February and March of next year if you are looking forward to this one and it's still available for pre-order. Here's a couple shipping updates for some anime exclusives. Over at GameStop, the Pain Pop and T bundle, the glow in the dark version of the Common I think it was, that one is starting to ship out now so if you have a pre-order make sure to check your email for that. As well as we do have a shipping update on the Jujutsu Kaisen 4-pack also at GameStop. This one is shipping out on December 26. It does seem looks like it was delayed a little bit. And thanks to my Discord members for sharing. A couple new Funko announcements we did have for Funko Friday. We finally have our announcement for Aquaman here, the Target exclusive. This one is available for pre-order right now on Target's website. Now we also did get a bunch of brand new Disney Funko Pops here. We do have Disney's Mickey and Friends. We have Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Pluto, uh, Goofy, Donald, Daisy, and Chip and Dale. Now the Mickey and Friends Pops individually are available for pre-order as well as in stock at some places and we do actually have an eight pack Funko Shop exclusive where they're all repackaged together and that one should be going live later on on the Funko Shop if you guys want them all together versus individually. Now today Funko did drop their Black Friday mystery box and like previous years it was very disappointing. Now shared from DTLA Funko Connect over on Instagram we do have a look at the anime mystery box here and as you can see, pretty disappointing. We do have one Funko Shop exclusive, and then there are actually two. We have two Funko Shop exclusives, as well as the Aang exclusive, and then I do believe the other three are commons. These are a lot of the categories with stock just sitting in their warehouses that they can't move on their website, so they decided to throw it in a mystery box to kind of almost trick you into buying it. And how they trick you into buying it is they give you that Freddy teaser, they black out all the images with silhouettes, and then you end up paying $54 shipped, I think it was. Which in the grand scheme of things, around 50 bucks for six pops, it's really not that bad. However, most of these pops are like five, six dollar pops that you'd find in stores kind of clearanced out so people could get rid of it. So in terms of value, it's really not that bad in the grand scheme of things. However, it's just them getting rid of overstock. It's nothing new. It's nothing creative, unfortunately. It is very smart by them though. I will give them that. It's a very smart way to move a bunch of inventory all at once in one big mystery box. The thing I'm hoping moving forward is that they learn from this because they don't seem to be, but I'm hoping having to do another mystery box like this to get rid of so much stock that they will learn that they don't need to produce so many because a lot of these are shelf warmers anyway. Let me know down below how you guys feel about this mystery box. Did you guys pick up one and are you excited? Are you disappointed? Let me know your thoughts. Now speaking of overstock, I did want to talk about Muichiro showing up over in Canada for 10 dollars at Toys R Us. Now as you can see over in Canada this Toys R Us store did get a mountain of Muichiros here and they were selling it for 10 
dollars regular price being fifteen dollars the retail con price now i am assuming that this is just kind of some black friday sale that they're doing over there and just discounting funko products however what i find crazy is they have a mountain of these and it's like I thought this was limited. I thought this was a con exclusive. So I do have the big question, how much stock is Funko really making of all these exclusives and are they kind of lying about what they're actually saying? Because if you think about it, you have all these smaller companies that have been selling hundreds upon hundreds of Muichiros for like 50 bucks here in the States. Now, Toys R Us in Canada has a mountain of them, and they seemingly keep restocking it over a couple days, I believe. And it's just wild to see, because this is supposed to be a limited Comic-Con exclusive, and there's so much stock. They didn't have stock to replace Funko orders that were either cancelled or came damaged. That is really, really weird to me, to be honest, because I've had a couple people complain to me saying that their orders were cancelled on Funko, yet they see all these companies have all this stock and Funko couldn't replace their order. It is a very, very wild situation, and I guess this also goes to the whole overstock situation where they're even producing way too many Comic-Con exclusives. Because as you can see, even New York Comic-Con exclusives or SDCC exclusives are probably still sitting on Funko's website of some that weren't so popular and they made a bunch of. If I have any Canadian subscribers, make sure to let me know down below if you guys were able to pick up any of these Muichidos. At the end of the day, guys, I really hope Funko gets better moving forward into 2023, 2024, so on and so forth, making less stock of exclusives, commons, chases, or whatever, because I'm really tired of seeing all these random stores like Five Below or um, Burlington Coat Factory or what was the other one, uh, Party City, and then all these other shops have so much stock of con exclusives that they can't sell, the Funko shop being overloaded with uh, just stock sitting there, sitting in their warehouses. It's kind of crazy. Like, I want Funko to have a lot of longevities. And I'm not saying they're dying anytime soon. However, I, I feel like they're just digging the hole with all this extra overstock having to trick customers into buying mystery box of old stock that they can't sell. Like, obviously, you know nobody would have bought those individually, so you're tricking your customers, essentially. So going forward, they just need to do better and make less stock, in my opinion, at least. But let me know how you guys feel. Well, guys, that's everything that I have to share with you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to smash that like button down below and click that subscribe button. If you're new here, I'd love to have you stick around for daily content. Now, I do want to say a big shout out to all the Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much. You guys absolutely rock for supporting myself and the channel. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, the link is down below. We have a Patreon only Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, updates, links, and more. We also have a Facebook group with over 15,000 members that's buy, sell, and trade. And make sure to be following me on all my social medias at Skittle Rampage over on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page to stay up to date. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.